Hi everyone, my name is Gray. I'm the dietitian and health coach with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. January is National Healthy Weight Awareness Month. January is also the time of year when everybody's making resolutions for the new year. And the most popular resolution is weight loss. So if you're one of those folks that wants to lose weight, this is gonna be a helpful video for you. So I have found with you know, through meeting with lots of patients and clients that when somebody wants to lose weight, usually they really hone in on the calories. And that's understandable because America is, definitely has a diet culture. And a part of that is this message that weight loss boils down to calories in, calories out. You've probably heard that before. It's basically just saying that you need to burn more calories than you're consuming and you'll lose weight. While that's technically true, it's, a, it's an oversimplification of how our metabolism works and it, it leaves people in a situation where they end up making a lot of mistakes that end up doing more harm than good. Um, so I, I think a lot of times people think, well, the more the better, the more calories I can cut out, you know, the faster I'll lose this weight, which is gonna be ideal. Um, but that's problematic, because if you cut out too many calories, it's actually harmful for your metabolism. Um, on top of that, healthy weight loss is about a pound a week. So I know that's not popular, I know that's not what people want to hear, but if you lose the weight fast, you're more likely to gain it back. So low and slow weight loss is going to be more sustainable in the long run. So in terms of how many calories you need, um, there's kind of a breakdown here that I want to explain, um, and this also goes into cutting calories because um, there's a, a certain point that you really don't want to dip under. So to establish that, we first have to understand something called our RMR, or resting metabolic rate. So this is essentially how many calories you would burn if you were in a coma or if you were sleeping all day. These are the calories that, that I say that we need to keep the lights on, basically. So to keep our heart pumping, our brain functioning, regulate our temperature, all those basic metabolic functions, that's where those calories are going. And as you can see, that's around 70% of our calories. So the bulk of the food that we're consuming is going towards this. Now, the other 30% is gonna be from physical activity. So that's gonna be from walking around, not just going to the gym, but you know, going to and from your car, climbing those stairs, even making breakfast or switching the laundry loads. Any kind of movement or activity contributes to that physical activity chunk. So in order to maintain healthy weight loss, you really don't want to dip into these resting metabolic rate cap, uh, calories. You want to leave those alone. So the best way, well, there's a few ways to determine your resting metabolic rate. There are some complicated formulas that you can Google that's going to look at a bunch of different factors and give you um, a more specific number. Um, but if you want to just get a rough idea, something you can do is take your body weight in pounds um, and multiply it by 10. So if you weigh 150 pounds, then that's going to be about 1500 calories will be your resting metabolic rate. Now, if you're overweight, you're going to want to take your body weight and multiply it by about eight. Um, and if you're an athlete, you have a lot of muscle mass, then you'll take your body weight and multiply it by 13. So it's so a little adjustments based on your activity level and current weight. But as I said, that's going to give you kind of a baseline idea of what your body needs to maintain itself. So any calorie deficits that you want to play with need to come from this this chunk up here, that 30% your physical activity. Generally speaking, I usually don't encourage people to get um, too bogged down with calories and all of that um, because I think oftentimes you, you lose sight of the quality of, your, of the food you're eating. You get so focused on the calories, the amount, the quantity um, that stuff falls through the cracks and you end up loading up on foods that really aren't helpful. Um, so instead, I encourage people to try to choose the right types of foods. So cutting out some of the, the sugars, the flours, um, the highly processed foods, trying to eat more whole foods, plant foods, fruits, vegetables, whole cuts of meat, that sort of thing. The stuff that we know to do sort of deep down, um, the, uh, the common sense type of nutrition, I would say. Switching to more of that sort of framework, oftentimes the calorie deficit will take care of itself. 
Plus, that way you're supporting your body at the cellular level. And if your body is functioning right at the cellular level, then that's going to ripple out and have a more positive impact on your overall health. If you want more information about nutrition and wellness videos, please check out our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.